Hey guys, today we're going to be checking out Planes, Trains, and Automobiles from 1987. Let's get right into it. I'm excited to check out a comedy, so let's get to it. Here we go. Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. All right, we are in for a Thanksgiving themed comedy. I have no idea. Whoa. Just a zoom in title. New York City, two days before Thanksgiving. Let me get cozy here. Steve Martin in the house. I feel like an ad exec or something. Chicago. <laughs> Quietest meeting ever. I could never work for this guy. Why are you going to the airport? You're never gonna get a cab at this hour. I told Susan I'd be home by nine. Never gonna happen, Susan. I'll see you in Chicago. You'll never make the six. Ominous. I feel like he is never gonna make the six. <laughs> is that Kevin Bacon? I like his loafers. <laughs> oh, are they about to go for the same cab? Don't even think about it, Bacon. Love this. Oh, this movie's so 80s. I love it. Oh, well, that was close. He almost got ran over. Damn it, Bacon. Hey! Sir, sir, excuse me. I know this is your cab, but I'm desperately late for a plane. He does not care. Could I offer you $10? 20. I'll give you $20 for it. 50. All right. Anyone who'd pay $50 for a cab certainly pay $75. Oh, Jesus. All right, $75. Well... Hey, hey, that's my cab! All right, over! Dang. Take the subway. That's my cab! Ah. Junk candy! He'll never make the six. Delayed? Oh, so we can get it, right? Oh, seems annoyed by that. Okay. Where are you? Who is it? When do you think it'll be in? Shouldn't be any later than 10. Yeah, right. We're just gonna keep knocking it back hour by hour. Something tells me he's not going to be there by 10. I know you, don't I? You stole my cab. <laughs> You're the guy who tried to get my cab. You scared the bejesus out of me. <laughs> Is that his trunk already in it then? Because then I got to say, it's John Candy's cab. Thank you, but it was awful easy to get a cab during rush hour. I am sorry. I had no idea that was your cab. Let me make it up to you somehow, huh, please? How about a nice hot dog and a beer? I'm kind of picky about what I eat. I kind of wish I had a beer right now. This is something you should have discussed with the ticketing. I didn't know he put me in coach. I'm sorry, first class is full. You have a coach seat assignment. Sorry, you'll have to sit in coach. Stupid old coach. I want a seat in first class where I was booked and ticketed. Is it that much better? Is this a coincidence or what? Seat buddies! <laughs> Perfect. I never did introduce myself. Del Griffith. I sell shower curtain rings. <laughs> Best in the world. Uh, Neil Page. Neil Page. Pleased to meet you, Neil Page. Don't take your shoes off. No! Plain etiquette! <laughs> Not the socks. No! Gross. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's the worst. But he's so friendly. Actually, Steve Martin's the worst because he's so grumpy, but at least he's not waving his smelly socks around. Six bucks says we're not landing in Chicago. That was creepy. <laughs> Honey, I'm not coming home at 10. Hello? Hi. I'm in Wichita. Are you all right? What happened? I don't understand what Wichita has to do with a snowstorm in Chicago. They closed Chicago and we landed here. What's the flight situation? Simple. There's no way on earth we're going to get out of here tonight. <sighs> I guess we'll find out soon enough. We're canceling flight 909. Anything. Anything with her. No, I'm sorry. All right. Do you know of any other motel? Neil. Are they going to have to take a train? Did you book a room yet? Let me guess. He has a room. He'll share. You called home. I called the Braidwood Inn. I know the manager pretty well. I sold him some rings for his curtains. Of course. If you want to pick up the cab fare, I'll make sure you get a room for the night. That's a good deal. Take it. But he's going to give him his room. They're going to be roommates. For sure. Yeah, sure. Great. All, All right. right. Dale Griffith. How the hell are you? Gus, I told my friend here uh, you'd be able to fix him up with a room. You have a major credit card? Oh, they got the machine. 
We were on our way to Chicago and the storm brought us here. I know all about it. Are they gonna is he gonna accidentally He took Griffiths? There you are. Last move in the complex. Sh share. Yeah. Oh hey. no. Is there just one bed? Even better. Oh, they have to share. What's with the shaking bed? What movie did I watch? Vacation that had the shaking bed too in the 80s. What's going on in the 80s? Is that still a thing? Do they still have those? I've never seen one. Ew. Oh god, just a little washcloth. Excuse me. I had no idea those beer cans were gonna blow like that. I left them on a vibrating bed. It just didn't occur to me. It didn't occur to you, so I have to sleep in a puddle of beer. Ugh. I just want to sleep. Me too. I am bushed. Oh my god, I hope he's not gonna talk all night. Don't say a word. <sighs> Ew! Oh. I'm not a knuckle cracker. It really kind of freaks me out, actually. Are you guys knuckle crackers? Tell me below. If so, does it feel good or does it hurt and it's like you enjoy the pain? Clear my That's it, he's gonna lose it. Gee, if your kid spills his milk, what do you do? Slap him in the head? Maybe. Buck. What is that supposed to mean? You're not a very tolerant person. You've been under my skin since New York. How'd you like a mouthful of teeth? Nice personality combination. Hostile and intolerant. You spilled beer all over the bed. You 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 mess up the bathroom. Well, who let you stay in the room? I was having a perfectly nice trip until you walked into my life. Who was that who talked my ear off on the plane? Well, who told you to book a room? I did, out of the goodness of my dumb old heart. Well, go ahead, sleep in the lobby. See if I care. You're no saint. You got a free cab, you got a free room someone who'll listen to your boring stories you know everything is not an anecdote you have to discriminate he's gonna feel bad about this later L i'd like you to meet del griffith he's got some amusing anecdotes or oh, here's a gun so you can blow your brains out you'll thank me for it oh i feel bad for him now that's enough here's a good idea have a point it makes it so much more interesting for the listener are you done so rude you want to hurt me go right ahead if it makes you feel any better i'm an easy target i talk too much i also listen too much I could be a cold-hearted cynic like you, but I don't like to hurt people's feelings. Well, you think what you want about me. I'm not changing. I like me. Aww. My wife likes me. My customers like me. Because I'm the real article. What you see is what you get. Say you're sorry. What is this? A robber? All this money. Spooning. This is nice. Del, why did you kiss my ear? Why are you holding my hand? Oh, Between two pillows. Those aren't pillows. Ah! Was it his butt? <laughs> Bailey. All right. See that Bears game last week? Masculinity intact. A buddy of mine, he works for the railroad. Train. I sold them all their uh, shower curtain rings. He owes me a favor. I'll get that. Paid for everything else. Why break precedent? You're making me feel like a freeloader. Get me on the train. We're square. Oh, wait. Yeah, and they got robbed. Right. What? You know goddamn well what. Thinks he did it. I had over $700 on here. 700? Just walking around with 700 dollars? You went into my stuff last night, right? Yikes. Just maybe when you went into it, you had to take Count it. Just count it. 263, right? Empty. Empty. What? We were robbed! What kind of plastic you carry? Got a Visa and a gasoline card. What have you got? Chalmers Big and Tall Man's Shop. It's a seven outlet chain in the Pacific Northwest. Great stuff. Unfortunately, it does us no good here. I really want to know what's in that chest. I hope we find out by the end. Gus's son's gonna pick us up. This is not him, is it? I bet it is. Ew. Are you Gus's son? You the shower curtain fella? Yeah. Train don't run out of Wichita. <laughs> Okay, ew. Uh. Train runs out of stub, Bill. That'll be fine. That'll be, That'll be just fine. Depending on which way you go, up to 70 miles. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> the dog was missing some teeth. They, uh, didn't have two together. 
Oh, I knew it. I'm sorry. Yeah, I think they're just full. So, um, if I don't see you again. Too late. Wanna get together for a drink in the bar car? Is the bar car a real thing? I've been on lots of trains. I've never seen a bar car. Or maybe I just don't know about it. Thanks for the ticket. Neil! This is definitely not the last we've seen of him. Happy holidays. Same to you. They will end up together again. He's gonna wind up going home for Thanksgiving with him. <laughs> Uh-oh, I spoke too soon. That's not good. Everybody off. Mile and a half to the highway up here. The trucks will meet you, and I'll take you to Jefferson City. Walk a mile and a half. Yeah, you gotta go help them. You ever traveled by bus before? We're on the bus. Now, how long until Steve Martin loses it again? I wonder. Who wants to sing a tune? Who's got a song? I got one. Uh... You got one. Neil Page has got one. Three coins in a fountain, each one seeking happy. You know this? Thrown by three hopeful lovers. No. <laughs> Lame. Flintstones, meet the Flintstones. There we go. I wonder if you started that on a bus now, if anyone would know that. When you're with the Flintstones, you'll have a gay old time. We're in St. Louis. St. Louis? This is your Diane Sawyer autographed earring. You ever watch 60 Minutes? Thanks. Czechoslovakian ivory. That's five dollars. Thank you. They are filled with helium, but they're very light. <laughs> what a swindler. Did you call the wife? Probably at my daughter's Thanksgiving pageant. You missed it. I'm sorry. Those are the precious moments, too. They don't come back again. <laughs> I haven't been home in years. What, seriously? It's a figure of speech. You know, I'm on the road so much. By the way, I called a good friend of mine at Eastern Airlines. Doesn't look good. At least we're still sitting on over 100 beans from my brilliant idea. You're terrific sales. He is a good salesman. I've been thinking that uh, when we put our heads together, you know, we've really, we've really gotten nowhere. <laughs> you know, I think I'm holding you up. That's not true, Neil. I really think we could get to where we're going a lot faster if we were alone. Okay. I see. He's on to him. You know, it's just harder for two people to yeah. travel. And if you've got reservations... Yeah, yeah, I know what you're saying. I mean, they're definitely not going to split up. Good luck to you, and uh, hope you get home soon. I'll see you. Yeah, sure you will. He's hurt. Dude, you have to stop trying to lose that guy. They're friends for life now. He just doesn't know it yet. It's a white man of Don Kong's bed, three, five. <laughs> B5. B5. Nothing? Hey! 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 Hey, the car's not there! <laughs> He's really having a rough time. <laughs> Hope his wife appreciates all the trouble he's going to to come home. <laughs> what is it? Maybe he'll run into John Candy now and he'll be like having the best time. Welcome to Marathon, may I help you? Yes. <laughs> you can start by wiping that smile off your rosy cheeks. Then you can give me a automobile. Do it for wheels on a seat. I really don't care for the way you're speaking to me. I want a car now. <laughs> May I see your rental agreement? I threw it away. Oh, boy. You're <laughs> Meanwhile, I want to know what John Candy's doing now. Yeah, where are you going? Chicago. Chicago? You know you're in St. Louis? Yes, I do. Why don't you try the airlines? It's a lot faster and you get a free meal. If I wanted a joke, I'd watch you take a leak. <laughs> it's gonna punch him. Clocked. <laughs> Oh, jeez, he's almost been run over a bunch of times. What are you doing? I almost crushed your head like a melon. He has a car. He has a car. He has a car. Get your car out of here, you insensitive asshole. Can't you see we got an injured man down on the street? Now I'll move my car, but I want you to help him up. No! My pleasure. Oh, oh man, that was a cheap shot. How long till he loses it? You're going to break it. I think he is going to break it. 
You broke the seat. Oh, and now he has to sit in it. Why did you do this? <laughs> Putting my wallet in the glove compartment. Don't let me forget it. Oh, crap. He's definitely going to forget it. Ah, uh, you can talk about We have the same moves. Buddy. I do dance while I'm driving, though. I do exactly that. Maybe not quite as recklessly. This man's going to play from nine to one. I definitely drum on the steering wheel, though. I think we all do. That was Ray Charles. Ah, oh, Ray Charles. To clear up. Sleeping like a baby. I knew it. I knew it. You never throw the cigarette out the front if their back is open. Don't throw your jacket back there. Oh. Oh crap, oh crap. I like this music a lot. Wake him up! It's dangerous! Oh no, his other one's gonna get caught too, I think. No! Oh my god, he's driving with no hands. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Wake him up! Just driving with his crotch. Step on the brakes! Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Well, hopefully they just go into a snowbank. <gasps> yeah, brakes! Oh, they're spinning out! <sighs> What's happening? <laughs> oh, we, we almost hit a deer, that's all. Are you all right? Yeah. Well, this just convinced me never to try and take my jacket off while I'm driving. Holy, that guy on the wrong side of the highway. They went the wrong way? They're going the wrong way. Put your window down. You want something. You're going the wrong way. He says we're going the wrong way. How would he know where we're going? Yeah, how would he know? <laughs> Idiots. You're going to kill somebody. That was bananas with the skull and the devil. Oh my god. Yeah. It's all bent. Is this a rental? They're gonna be in big trouble. Oh, this isn't so bad. I, I thought it'd be a lot worse than this. No, that's bad. Yep. <laughs> wow. Nothing gets him down. <laughs> I mean, that was close. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we should just get my stuff off the road, huh? Yeah. What do you think? Hurry! Ask him what's in there. I need to know. Maybe we'll never find out. Oh yeah, the fire! I completely forgot. Well... Oh crap, his wallet's in there. Is it gonna explode? They're just watching him burn. <laughs> Nothing to do but laugh. <laughs> you finally did it to yourself. I mean, good luck turning the car in. <laughs> <laughs> How could you rent the thing anyway without a credit card? I gave this gal behind the counter a set of shower curtain rings. You can't rent a car with shower curtain rings, though. Well, uh... Tell him. Somehow your uh, diner's club card wound up in my wallet. You stole it! Not exactly! You no, I swear my life! I, I knew did. you stole it! I did not you steal your my car! You didn't steal it! I found it in my I wallet! Knew you I thought I... you put it there! Why would I put it there? <laughs> you stole it! No, I didn't! I, I was gonna send it back to you! You didn't give me your address! What was I supposed to do? You just ditched me! He did ditch him. Give it back! I can't! Why not? Because when we stopped the gas up, I put the card back in your wallet! And it's in the car. We're looking rough. I need one room. I need a major credit card. I have uh, <laughs> diners, visa, gasoline card. These aren't uh, credit cards. All right, I'll pay cash. Forty-two fifty. Does Dell have any cash? I wonder. Seventeen dollars. I can't do that. I've been wearing the same underwear since Tuesday. I don't, I don't, I don't own the place. $17 and a hell of a nice watch. 
Would you like a room? I don't have the forty-two fifty. Is he gonna be able to charm his way in? I have, uh, I have two dollars huh. and uh, a crappy watch and a Casio. <laughs> I'm gonna have to say good night. Where is he gonna sleep? He has two beds. Come on. Well, Marie, once again, my dear, you are as right as rain. I am, without a doubt, the biggest pain in the butt that ever came down the pike. I meet someone whose company I really enjoy. What do I do? I go overboard. Yeah, a little. Cause him more trouble than he has a right to. God, I got a big mouth. But a heart of gold. Yes, I let him in. You can't let him sleep outside. Come on. You're gonna freeze to death out there. Buddies. How's your drink? Look at these Good. buddies. Chilling. Look at all these snacks. You know what? I'm dead and buried. All I'm gonna have around here to prove that I was here with some shower curtain rings. Great legacy, huh? At the very least. Got a woman you love to grow old with. Right? Unless she's dead. I'm worried that she's dead. Go back. Just a minute. Give it a good push now. All right. All right. He's not going to be able to push it with that weight. I am. I am. Push for Christ's sake. I think we have to rock it a bit. Up and down, up and down. Here okay. we go. Ready? Reverse. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they should get the heck out of there. They don't have your credit card on file. Get out. Oh, they're gonna get pulled over. Come on, they've had a rough time. Just wants to go to Thanksgiving. How fast are you going? I can't tell, the speedometer's melting. Oh, okay, I was like, don't they know? What the hell are you driving here? <laughs> you have any idea how fast you were going? But our speedometer's melted, and as a result, it's very hard to say. 78 miles an hour. 78, huh? Do you feel this vehicle is safe for highway travel? Yes, I do. Nah. I can't let you go ahead in this vehicle. Crap. Impounded. Well, our ship has come in. Huh? It's free and it's nonstop. The driver's a little freaky about people riding up in his cab, so we can't sit there. You gotta ride in the back. Beach walking, huh? They made it, Chicago. Leave us. <laughs> Are they gonna part ways? This you? Yeah. It's been great meeting you, Neil. It really has. Oh. Happy Thanksgiving, Neil. Give my love to the family, will you? Same to you. Say hello to Marie for me. I feel like I know her. And uh, you have a happy Thanksgiving. Hey, you know it. <laughs> Wondering how this ends. Is he gonna go back for him? My wife likes me. Got a woman you love to grow old with, right? I think his wife is dead. I've been home for years. I've been home for years. He's gonna find him. He's just sitting there by himself. What are you doing here? Tell the truth, Del. I don't have a home. Hmm? Marie's been dead for eight years. Oh. Find him home. Yeah, buddies. Such a nice house. You are one lucky guy, Neil. Yeah. Daddy! Yeah. Daddy! They're all there. Don't be mad. And uh, I'd like you to meet a friend of mine. Hello, Mr. Griffith. Hello, Mrs. Page. Poor Dell. Wow. She's crying. If anyone should be crying, it should be him. But he's a happy guy. Okay, guys. Well, that was Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. And that was a good one. Very classic 80s. I love the music. Uh, God, it was cool to see John Candy and Steve Martin together playing off each other. And it made me feel kind of warm and holiday -y. My Thanksgiving in Canada has already gone by, but Christmas is coming. I'm feeling the holiday season approaching. So yeah, this was the perfect movie to kind of 
get me in the mood for going home for the holidays. I liked it. It was uh, very charming and cute. I can see why it's like a classic that people would watch every year on Thanksgiving for sure. MVP, I'll just give it to both Sean Candy and Steve Martin together as a duo. They're bros to the end, so they definitely get my MVP. Loki MVP, I'm gonna give to the music. It was awesome, 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 awesome. I was like scooting around, bopping along the whole way through. I loved the music, so music is the Loki MVP. And the worst award, I'm gonna give to the fact that we never Never saw what was in his his case his big thing I can't believe they did show us what was inside that so and if you guys have any idea what was in that chest please let me know below I'm so curious overall this one was really good very holiday -y, and I really enjoyed it and thank you guys so much for watching I really appreciate it I had a great time I hope you had a great time too and I will see you next time bye guys <laughs>